Space is a place full not only of mysteries, but also threats to humanity. The universe is known to have thrown its asteroids at the US, Russia, China and Mexico at some points in time. However, these knocks at the door and their consequences did not stay in the news for long. Earth is now facing a threat far more menacing, at least 10 Tsar bombs worth of power. And it is entirely possible that we will be looking this threat straight in the eye in 2029. Today, we will talk about the legendary Apophis asteroid, which is now headed in the direction of Earth, and try to see what our encounter with the rock might result in. In December 2004, the Kitt Peak Observatory in the US noticed a fairly large asteroid located 14 million kilometers away from Earth. Soon after the New Year's, it was assigned the number 99942. Scientists also calculated the asteroid's possible trajectories. In summer, it received its fairly poetic name, Apophis, the name of an Egyptian god, the enemy of Ra in Egyptian mythology. Although, even when it comes to the name, there is more to it. Astronomers David Tholen and Roy Tucker, who discovered the asteroid, proposed the name in honor of the villain from their favorite TV series Stargate. As the legend of the TV show goes, this villain was created in the image of the Egyptian deity. In any case, both villains were the destroyers of the Earth, and their arrival to the planet was bound to be deadly. Apophis the space asteroid, the length of which was initially set to be 500 meters, really does look like a destroyer. Maybe not the whole Earth, but the majority of life on the planet at the very least. After a series of observations, the asteroid turned out to be 370 meters long. Even though it's smaller than, say, the Loch to Center Tower in St. Petersburg, it is still longer than the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and weighs 61 billion kilograms. Based on data gathered from a Neoseam simulation, here is a conservative fact. If and when this giant collides with the Earth, it can take millions of lives at the moment of impact already, not to mention further consequences. Today, the list of possible landing areas that's updated as the asteroid continues its movement includes the south of Russia, part of the Pacific coast, touches Nicaragua and Costa Rica, crosses Colombia and Venezuela. The asteroid can take 10 million lives on impact in South America alone. If it falls into the Atlantic or Pacific Ocean, the impact can create a tsunami that will wipe clean a thousand kilometers from the shores of North America, Brazil or Africa, as well as destroy 3,000 kilometers of Japan. The Hawaiian Islands could be wiped off the face of the Earth entirely. In 2013, Apophis passed only 9 million kilometers from Earth, which is already fairly close by cosmic standards. But it will come much closer in 2029. According to the calculations of the Century Monitoring System at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in the USA, Apophis will fly by only 31,000 kilometers away from Earth. By cosmic standards, this is less than an arm's length away. The asteroid will be 10 times closer to us than the Moon, and significantly closer than 500 geostationary satellites. It is possible that gravitational changes, which are often impossible to calculate, can nudge the asteroid in a slightly different direction, and then lightning-fast consequences will be inevitable. Moreover, even if we're lucky and everything goes smoothly in 2029, Apophis will come back to Earth on April 13, 2036. And once again, we will have to brace ourselves for a possible catastrophe. The optimists among you might say that there has to be a simple solution for this problem. Let's say you've watched Armageddon with Bruce Willis, and everything seems pretty straightforward. Maybe, but only as long as you have one asteroid and two rescue ships. What if there is more than one asteroid? In addition to Apophis, there are other examples of dangerous giants, and they sure don't make things easier. For example, on January 13, 2022, the asteroid 2022 AP-7 was discovered. It is not as famous as Apophis, but this puppy is three times bigger. So far, it seems that it will be close to Earth only in 2052, but we're less than 30 years away already. If that trajectory deviates from its initial path, let's just say the fate of the Earth will be set in stone. Right now, AP-7 is on the list of potentially dangerous asteroids and is excluded from the short-term threat list in the Century system. But things can change, just like the trajectory and possible size of Apophis changed. But there is a bigger concern. 2020 VV, discovered in October 2020. It is only 12 meters in diameter 
but also as dense as Apophis and can bring destruction and death to thousands of people. According to the Century System, the probability of it hitting Earth is 1 to 1500. A similar Italian service Neodis 2, however, puts this probability at 0.15%. This is a big number for this type of calculations, which makes it a risk well worth preparing for in advance. Sometimes, preparation is a luxury. On February 12, 2023, for example, the 2023 CX-1 meteoroid was spotted by the Hungarian Observatory just seven hours before it hit the Earth. Almost immediately, it became clear that the meteoroid would hit the Earth with a 100% probability. All scientists could do is watch it descend. The CX-1 was only a meter long. When it entered the atmosphere, it fell apart into pieces of about 100 grams each. Nevertheless, its arrival created a shockwave in Normandy, which was detected by seismographs many hundred of kilometers away. So what about Apophis? Is our only option hoping for its trajectory to not deviate by a few seconds and minutes? Can we only hope to get lucky? At the moment, Apophis is one of 2,656 objects to have been excluded from the list of objects that will almost surely hit the Earth. On the one hand, this is good news but no one promises that it will not be added back to this list. With this in mind, the Chinese government set up the Zhang'e mission, for example. The idea is to send a spacecraft to study three dangerous asteroids, including Apophis, and the mission will start in 2024. The Chinese spacecraft will land on the asteroid 1996 FG3 and will study its surface to better understand how we can deal with its close brother, Apophis. NASA is not wasting time either. In 2018, their OSIRIS-REx spacecraft was sent to a huge 19-kilometer-large asteroid called Bennu. This spacecraft should bring samples collected on the asteroid to Earth this year. Once the samples are here, the mission will be renamed to OSIRIS-APEX. On April 21, 2029, the device should travel to Apophis, reach its orbit, and then take its samples for an even more detailed study of our cosmic adversary. NASA is also working through scenarios of gravitational displacement, kinetic impact, or nuclear strike on Apophis. Reminder, all these plans will be of significance only if we don't see a shift in the trajectory of Apophis towards the Earth in 2029. This probability remains. Even the Sentry system, which appears optimistic in its projections, does not exclude it entirely, but only lowers it. At the same time, let's not forget about the other two dates. Apophis will come 26 million kilometers closer to Earth in 2036 and then in 2068. And while in 2036, the distance of 26 million kilometers will still be substantial, 2068 doesn't look too bright. Apophis will be flying by only 500,000 kilometers away from the center of the Earth and will once again threaten our existence. Whatever humanity is doing in the meantime, it is important that we don't miss the moment when Apophis will fly almost in front of our faces. A change in its trajectory will require the whole world to collaborate. Will humanity be able to unite in the face of a threat that will render any other aspirations and goals meaningless? We will find out soon enough. In the meantime, like this video, tell us what you think about the fate of Apophis, and subscribe to our channel.